Asperger's disorder is very is unique in some ways. Many individuals uh, with Asperger's disorder actually have precocious language early in their life. So they begin using words even before we would expect people who are typically developing to use language. And they'll use big words too, adult-like language. So, th and that's one reason why when young kids with, uh, who, ha who are, go on to be diagnosed with Asperger's, when they're younger, it's hard for people to tell sometimes because adults love talking to kids with Asperger's disorder because they say such interesting things, almost adult-like things, but in this tiny little body of a child. And so it's fascinating for the adults to talk with them. And kids with Asperger's like to talk to adults as well. Where they really struggle, though, is with peers, and that's oftentimes how people with Asperger's are identified. Because peers are not like talking to adults. Peers are much more... Uh, attuned to unusual parts of behavioral. So, for example, if you're not appropriately attending to them in terms of your eye contact, a peer is going to notice, an adult's going to slough it off and say that they're a kid. And so, in, individuals with Asperger's disorder end up being very high functioning. They can be brilliant. So, sometimes they have IQs that are extremely high. Um, they, they oftentimes will have pockets of knowledge or ability that is quite exceptional. Um, that also makes it hard for parents to notice because they just think that they have an exceptional child. And there are some exceptional people that have um, weaker social abilities, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they have Asperger's disorder. Asperger's disorder is very specifically a clear social communication impairment where you have trouble with social awareness, you have trouble perceiving other people's intentions and motivations, um, you're not quite sure why other people are acting a certain way, and you have difficulty acting on that. So you don't know exactly how to behave in a complex social environment. People with Asperger's, when they're younger especially, have trouble interpreting non-literal language. And we all use non-literal language all the time. So we'll, we'll, we'll uh, be sarcastic, for example. Or we'll use phrases like, don't sweat the small stuff. And people with Asperger's disorder, in fact, one of my patients with Asperger's disorder, when you say, don't sweat the small stuff, their interpretation is that you shouldn't use the big exercise equipment because it'll make you sweat more. So they, they tend to be quite concrete in their interpretation of that non-literal language. But people with Asperger's disorder can be quite talented and have abilities, and that's what makes that part of the spectrum really the hardest to diagnose earlier in life.